Okay, the most expensive vintage toy ever. What do you think it is? It's got to be Star Wars something. Star Wars Boba Fett. It's an what? action figure from 1979. It just sold at auction for $525,000. It had to have the little tiny little black torpedo gun with it, right? I don't know. It, <laughs> it, it makes it the most expensive vintage toy ever. And this is the one wow. from the original prototypes that were not sold to the public. Uh, the Boba Fett, uh, when the prototype for the figure was originally designed, it had a missile that fired from a cannon on its back, mm -hmm. but the company decided it would be harmful to kids. So the one they actually sold did not fire the missile. They had about 100 of these prototypes that had the working rocket. Uh, only around 70 of them are known to still exist in the hands of collectors, but $525,000. Wow. That's huge. That's the one I never had. I had um, the Jawas, because I love the Jawas. The Jawas were the most amazing thing in the world. But I have Empire Strikes Back, Kenner, but it's of Han Solo. And it's still in the plastic and stuff like that. Wow. I, my son got it for me for my birthday, but he said he got it at a garage sale. So I've just been holding on to the dang thing. So Wow. Get yeah, the previous record, the previous record for the choke, choking hazard Bobo Fetch was 236000 So. <laughs> So just over half a million, this is the way. Wow. Garth Brooks and Ronnie Dunn on your hometown radio station, 101.7 KSAM. Good morning. I'm Carlos Zimmerman. Your Southeast Texas weather forecast is coming right up. Gabby Barrett and Morgan Wallen also on the way. Well, have y'all heard the new relationship term called pebbling? Have y'all heard about that yet? It's hot on TikTok right now. It's based on something penguins do. Male penguins let females know that they're interested by bringing them a rock. It's a gift, but also something penguins use to build their nest. Pebbling for people is similar, but instead of rocks, it's other small gestures to let them know you care. It could be a cup of coffee or anything else to brighten their day. Uh, for the young people, it's often texting them a funny meme, because memes are apparently a love language now. Man, memes have come so far. When I was growing up, back in like 2011 and 2012, memes were just, you know really wonky, if you will, and now they're just out of the box sometimes. Sometimes off the... Some people are off their rockers when it comes to making memes, but man, that wasn't the point of the story. It was pebbling. See, that's what happens. The Z-Man goes on a lot of tangents, and it starts ballooning into something else. Oh, boy. That's Shania. You're still the one on 101.7 KSAM, your hometown radio station. You're listening to 90s at noon. Got your weather coming up, and then some Chris Ledoux and Toby Keith coming up, too. Well, ladies and gentlemen, on this Tuesday, June the 11th, 2024, happy National Corn on the Cop Day. That's right, National Corn on the Cop Day. It's one of our favorite American dishes, and the site YouGov polls people on different foods and basically finds their approval rating. Uh, corn on the Cop made their list of the top 10 most beloved foods in America that America is known for. It barely snuck in, but it's on there. And, well, here are the top 10 most beloved foods that America is known for. Corn on the cob came in at number 10. Steak and fries at number 9. Fried chicken at number 8. Hash browns came in at number 7. Number 6, steak and a baked potato. 5%, or excuse me, 5, number 5 on the list, grilled cheese. Number 4, cheeseburgers. Number 3, hamburgers. French fries came in at number 2. And the biggest approval rating of the 10 most beloved foods that America is known for, number one, mashed potatoes. Yes, can't go wrong with the mashed taters. Some other ones that made the top 20, Southern Style Fried Chicken, Apple Pie, Tater Tots, Philly Cheese Steak, Chicken Pot Pie, and Hot Dogs. Ooh, my mouth is watering thinking about all that good food. Kenny Chesney and Take Her Home on your hometown radio station, 101.7 KCM. Hey, good Thursday afternoon. I'm Big Lynn. Your forecast is coming right up. So, you know, I don't know if you've heard about this or not, but I can guarantee you these are flying out the shelves right now. Telling people that they can't have something because it may kill them or they could die, you know, something to eat. They're going to try it anyway, right? Yeah, so check it out. Denmark just banned TikTok's favorite brand of ramen noodles and claimed they're so spicy they could be deadly. Now, it's a Korean brand called Samyang. Uh, they banned three different versions, including one that's called Bulldog Hot Chicken Ramen Three Times Spicy. Uh, another one is two times spicy, uh, and Denmark's apparently mis Ministry of Food announced that they're pulling them from having too much capsaicin. We know that's the stuff that makes peppers really hot, right? Uh, so they claim that the amount in a single pack is so high, there's a risk that you could develop acute poisoning, but they're only banning them in uh, 
in Denmark. Oh, you know what, what though? Okay, you can find them in other stores in the US and even on Amazon. That's all, folks.